Samsung has a pattern. Every time the tech world gets distracted by a flashy foldable or a monster flagship, they drop something quietly, something that shouldn't be a big deal, but ends up rewriting the whole conversation. And right now, that quiet drop might be the Galaxy S25 FE. Oh, and don't blink, because alongside it, Samsung's most powerful tablet ever is surfacing in leaks, rocking a massive display, a smaller notch, and maybe even a surprise chip swap no one saw coming. This is the kind of double leak moment Samsung doesn't make a lot of noise about, but trust me, you should be paying attention. Welcome back, viewers. Sam here. I've got a wild deep dive lined up for you today. If you're tired of the usual spec sheet snooze fest and want real curiosity fueled breakdowns of what Samsung's cooking up behind the scenes, make sure you like the video, share it with a fellow tech lover, and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single update. Because what I'm about to unpack is bigger than just one phone or one tablet. This could be Samsung's smartest mid-year play yet. Let's kick things off with the Galaxy S25 FE, a phone that has no business being this good on paper for what will likely be a sub-600 price. First impression, it looks clean. Familiar, it borrows the sleek, premium vibe of the Galaxy S25 series. Same design language, thin profile, flat edges, an armor aluminum frame, but dials it in for people who want premium without the four-figure price tag. And that alone is already turning heads. The front is dominated by a massive 6.7 inch HD Clus display, and not just any display, it's a dynamic AMOLED panel with a 1000 to 20 inch refresh rate. So, whether you're scrolling through social media, watching a YouTube video like this one, or playing a high frame rate game, it adapts in real time for both smoothness and battery savings. That's flagship behavior, and this is an FE device, wild. Under the hood, we've got the Exynos 2400s. And yes, I know that might raise a few eyebrows depending on where you live. Samsung's custom silicon hasn't always had the smoothest history, but this one's different. Early benchmarks show promising thermal efficiency, solid GPU gains, and a much improved MPU that's essential for camera processing. It's paired with 8GB of RAM. And depending on the variant, you could be looking at storage options that go all the way up to 520 GB. That's not just generous, that's almost unheard of in this tier. And let's talk battery. We're getting a 4700mAh cell with support for 40Pw fast charging. If you're the kind of person who's always in a rush, that's a game changer. Plug it in for just half an hour, and you're nearly full, without the heat issues some older models struggled with. That kind of charge speed used to be reserved for the Ultra series. Not anymore. But okay, let's be real, what most people care about is the camera, and here's where it gets interesting. The rear setup is deceptively familiar 50MP main sensor, ABMP telephoto with Thurex zoom, 12MP ultrawide. Sounds like last year, right? That's because it is, at least on paper. But here's the thing, Samsung's made software the real star of the show this time around. We've seen this strategy work wonders before. With the S24 series, the company leaned hard into computational photography, using AI and smarter ISP tuning to deliver better skin tones, more balanced shadows, and deeper HDR, without changing hardware. The same thing is happening here. From what I'm hearing, Samsung is tweaking the camera app for faster shutter speeds, more accurate autofocus and real-time noise reduction, especially in low light. The kind of stuff that changes your photos even if you're using the same sensor. Even more impressive, the front camera, it's finally getting bumped from 10MP to 12MP, but not just for bigger selfies, it's expected to feature autofocus, which alone takes your video calls, Insta stories, and selfie videos to a whole new level. We're talking flagship level clarity on a mid-range device. And if Samsung borrows some of the color science and portrait tuning from the main S25 series, this could be one of the best selfie cameras under 700. Now, let's talk performance, because this is where FE phones often get underestimated. The Exynos 2400 isn't just a CPU upgrade, it's also smarter. The MPU handles real-time language processing, background app optimizations, camera scene recognition, and even power tuning based on your habits. Combine that with Samsung's One UI 8, which is lighter, faster, and better at memory management and you've got a device that feels smooth even after months of heavy use. This isn't just about specs anymore, it's about experience. And that's where the S25 FE might really surprise people, because it doesn't scream for attention, but it quietly checks every box. Big screen, check. Strong cameras, check. Fast charging, yeah. Premium design, absolutely. And if the pricing rumors are true and Samsung keeps it between $599 to $649, it's going to completely shake up the mid-range market. But hey, this wouldn't be a full Samsung update if we didn't talk about their most ambitious tablet yet. Let's shift gears. The Galaxy Tab S11 Ultra. This thing is a beast. Not just big, but beautiful. And not in a clunky, oversized laptop kind of way. It's got that 14.6 inch AMOLED panel we saw last year, but refined. Bezels are thinner. Corners are smoother. And while yes, the notch is still here, it's noticeably smaller. 
possibly because Samsung ditched the second selfie cam. And honestly, that's fine. Most people don't need two front cameras on a tablet. What they need is space. Space for multitasking, drawing, editing, note taking, or just kicking back and binging an entire season of a show without squinting. That's what this tablet offers. And the S Pen, still magnetic, still precise, still one of the best stylus experiences in the industry. If you've ever used it for photo retouching, digital art, or even just navigating the UI, you know how natural it feels. It's what makes Samsung tablets feel like true productivity machines. But here's the real twist Samsung might be moving away from Qualcomm here. And instead, going all in with MediaTek's Dimensity 9400 Plus. And before you roll your eyes, listen up. This chip is no joke. Early testing shows incredible efficiency, serious multi-core performance, and a much stronger GPU than previous MediaTek chips. Combine that with Samsung's software magic, and you're looking at a tablet that can go head to head with an iPad Pro, and maybe even outlast it on battery. Of course, the Tab S11 Ultra isn't just about specs, it's about integration. Pair with a Samsung phone and suddenly you're dragging and dropping files across devices like magic. Use Dex mode and your tablet becomes a full desktop replacement. Sync up with Galaxy Buds smart things or even your Galaxy Watch and the whole ecosystem clicks into place. And let's not ignore the subtle, underrated change. Samsung is likely scrapping the Plus model this year, just the standard Tab S1 and the Ultra. That's a good thing. Fewer SKUs, less confusion more focus. So where does that leave us? We've got a surprisingly powerful phone with smart upgrades and a flagship vibe and a monster tablet that doesn't apologize for being big, bold, and creative first. Together, they form a lineup that proves Samsung is learning from the past. The flashy foldables might grab headlines, but it's these under the radar releases that win users over. And the best part, we're only a couple of months away. If the leaks are right, both the Galaxy S25 FE and the Tab S with Ultra are expected to launch by October, and Samsung's already deep into testing, production, and prepping announcements. That means real-world reviews, camera comparisons, battery tests, and feature deep dives are coming fast. So now I'll toss the mic to you. Are you leaning toward the value-packed S25 FE, or are you eyeing the creative potential of the Tab S11 Ultra, or maybe both? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more deep tech dives like this, and tap the bell so you don't miss what's coming next. Because if this is what Samsung's mid, year drop looks like. Imagine what's coming in 2026. Stick around, we've got more surprises, leaks, and hands-on coverage coming soon.